I'm Rudy Boschwitz, and as many of you know, I have formally announced my candidacy for the United States Senate. I owe a lot to Minnesota. You've been good to me, and I've tried to return that friendship. I don't think I've ever asked more from others, and I've personally been willing to give in return. So when I ask you now for your help and your thoughts and your support, I recognize the commitment I'll have to you, and I will not let you down. Uh, I was born in Berlin, Germany in 1930, and Hitler came to power on January 30th, 1933. And on that day, my father came home and told my mom, we're gonna leave Germany forever. It was a, an extraordinary foresightful act. There was already fear in the air. Jews were discriminated, political enemies were crushed, political adversaries became enemies. You have a massive nationwide boycott to uh, Jewish-owned businesses. Then you have the book burning. This was witnessed by the Boschwitz family. All this happening so fast may take, made them quite certain that leaving Germany at that time was the right decision, as other German Jews did, but many also did not and had to suffer the consequences. In the summertime, my parents wanted to get away from the humidity of New York, and they went up to Lake Placid. My father, did he say, stay for the summer? And I said, well, you know, I just graduated from law school, and I told my dad I had to get a job. I'll stay for a couple of weeks. And so he sent me around to meet Ellen Lowenstein. My first memory is when you came over one afternoon, knocked on our door of our summer house, Showed up. And showed up. <laughs> and there he was. And um, I remember the first thing we did was we did a crossword puzzle yeah. together. <laughs> I stayed all summer. Yeah, and I proposed yeah. mm -hmm. at the end of the summer. What did you know? <laughs> <laughs> about you? Yeah. I don't know. I, you know uh -huh. what, what, what do people know about those that they marry? It was intuitive. It was the best day of my life when I married her. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah. Mom and Dad have been tremendous examples to us in so many ways. The whole idea of uh, our family starting as immigrants, I think it gives us a, a more open mind about how this country is a wonderful place to be. We're so fortunate to be here. I just feel very proud of mom and dad. Yeah. I yes. mean, for everything that they achieve, have achieved, and are achieving. They have uh, supported us in so many ways, um, and always with complete and unconditional love uh, yeah. in every situation. They um, gave us a fair shot at life, which they, I think, believed was the uh, role of being a parent. Saying what we owe to them is, uh, it's priceless, it can't be measured. I've known Rudy since the very first campaign when I was a volunteer, and Rudy called me about it. He, I said, I don't know anything about fundraising, I don't know anything about politics, and he said, you're the man I'm looking for because everybody else says my ideas are crazy. Rudy and I were driving home from the fair, and Rudy said, I'm tired of standing in a tent, and I'm tired of handing out agriculture department um, brochures about how you can peaches. I'm just tired of that. I want to do something different. I want to have Rudy's super duper milk house. I was very active in dairy. They kept telling me the price was too low. I said, if you want a higher price, you have to increase demand for the product. And they said, what do you mean demand for the product? Oh, well, if they, you can add a little syrup to uh, sparkling water and call it Coca-Cola, maybe we ought to add some syrup to milk and give it some flavors. Root beer milk, 25 cents, raspberry milk, 25 cents, banana milk, 25 cents. No, there, there were no banana cows. Maybe there was a chocolate cow or two somewhere. It was just a, it was a great gimmick, but I, I think he genuinely liked being there at the fair and talking to people and meeting them, fun, listening to their stories. And there are always huge lines there waiting to get flavored milk from Rudy because he was there serving the milk himself. 
I like root beer the best, but I had to be very careful. I have a lactose intolerance. I could drink a little bit. I addressed a Republican gathering once, and I was asked in the introduction that I tell the crowd when the last time I, it was that I read the New Testament, would I ever accept Jesus, and had I ever been saved? And I talked about coming into New York Harbor and my mother pointing out the Statue of Liberty, and then we went down the gangplank of the SS Majestic, and I said, when I stepped on American soil and my mother's hand, I was saved. Of our family that remained on the continent of Europe, uh, one survived. So indeed, I was saved. I think I have a pretty good understanding of what you feel about America, what you want to preserve, and the good things that you want to see happen. You know, I've met a lot of challenges in my life, and I'm going to do my best on this one, and I will not let you down. Gather round, Minnesota, gather round. Rudy Bosch, which's coming in the town. He'll be part of you and me down in Washington, D.C. When the U.S. Senate gathers round, gathers round. When the U.S. Senate gathers round. Rudy Boschwitz, he's you and me, and that's what a Minnesota senator should be.